He is doing double duty today as both a conductor and a composer, but I'm going to ask him, he's back here, I'm going to ask him to come up and have a word with him about his piece. Brian. Brian, your pieces seem to often have at their core some kind of technical process, which you then really wear on your sleeve, and this work sounds like it's, it's of a similar kind. Yeah, thanks. Um, it's really about texture and, and gesture. So gesture, as you know, it's, it's, it's what shapes are being created by the music and how do they unfold over time or about texture, which is instead of one melody or five or 10 or 100 melodies, uh, you put all those on top of one another and listen to the whole. So as, as you mentioned, strata or layers, the idea here is to have very active music, but also very calm at the same time. So a layer of active and a layer of calm. And what I'm really interested in, in this piece and some others, is when we start to perceive that active layer as being calm. Right? So when you look at water or sunlight, there's a lot of active things going on, but the sense is very calm. So in the opening of this piece, Strata, so there's a lot of big gestures that have a lot of notes happening. As, as these folks know, there's a lot of notes. The, but at the same time, uh, there's, there's this overall sense of slow, calm gestures to it. And I'm very interested in where our, our perception shifts. Do we ever at any point hear any more than two Strata, or is it always just the active versus the calm? Uh, that only happens uh, every now and again, and sometimes we get out of that uh, and, and go into some, some other sort of pattern things, repeating patterns. Uh, but more, more or less, it's just this active and calm layers that I'm interested in, in creating. When you create a work like this, oftentimes works which feature such a kind of a, a deliberate technical process are calculated. They've been worked out arithmetically over the financial numbers of both tech. I mean, do you approach how do you approach your material? Do you do it with any kind of pre-planning, or do you simply get into it and let it evolve? Uh, these come from improvising at the piano, so for weeks and weeks, and then, then there comes a time where you have to get it out onto the page, and then those, those uh, techniques, I guess you call them, is, that was where when you have to decide, you have to commit, and that's when the techniques come. So it really comes from so finding those shapes first, and then figuring out the technique to create those sh shapes. It never starts with, you know, a, a, you know, a melodic passage or anything like that. It's creating the, the idea under the music, and then figuring out what, how can I make that idea happen through these ideas. Uh, one final question: Do you find it difficult, or easy, or rewarding, or unrewarding to conduct your own work? How, what's your, what's the relationship between Brian Kern, the conductor, and Brian Kern, the composer? It's a good question. I know Gary's also conductor too, so uh, the, it's, I, I, I find you probably find this, it uses a completely different part of your brain, because this, the composer part is you have to be one of the most introverted people that I can think of, and then the conductor part, you really have to be one of the most extroverted type and a communicator, and really be thinking, it's, it's using a different side of your brain, so making sure everything lines up properly, and really getting a taste of your own medicine for this music that you, you, have, you have just created. Thank you, Brian. Let's hear the work. Yeah. 